last night. Did somebody rattle it in my garbage can or did they kick it down? This don't make no sense because nobody knows I live here. But my mom. But she wouldn't be out there messing with my garbage can. That don't make no sense. Let me go around this corner and see what's going on. Because it don't make no sense why my garbage can is on the ground. I can see it from here. Is that peeping Tina? I told you, stop playing with me. Don't come back to my house no more. Oh, I forgot. You can't. <laughs> so, you're going to be all right. Let me go ahead and get this evidence off of me. So I don't have no problem with the cops. Because you know the Popo, they just love collecting evidence. But they can't get me, though. Because I'm too slick for that. Oh, well. Let me put this knife away. Go ahead and call the popo so they can come and get her off my lawn. Hello? I just seen a 187. I don't know who did it, but they right there. No, am I crazy like my mama? Did I inherit that trait from her? Maybe I should go to counseling. Uh, nah, I don't think I'm crazy. I just don't like people mess with me. But I'm gonna wait till they go ahead and clear her out so I can go on in the house because I ain't got time. So she will be all right. She won't be knowing no more peeping nowhere else. <laughs> Look at the popo just swarming around. Oh, this is a nice little neighborhood. Let me go over here and knock on this door and see who's live here. Dang, is they gonna answer the door? Like, how rude of them. I keep telling me to come in, but the door is locked. Like, duh. Like, hello? Hello? Anyone live here? Oh, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? My name is Cassie. And what's your name? My name is Morgan Freeman. How you doing, pretty lady? What are you doing out here in this neck of the woods? Are you new to the neighborhood? Would you like some macaroni? Yeah, sure, have a seat. Thank you, that's mighty kind of you. So, how long have you been living in this house or in this town? Have you been here long? But I think I see you on the big movie screen. So I am so excited to meet you. Oh my goodness. I met Morgan Freeman. That's awesome. I can't believe you were so nice and kind to me. Many people won't let a lot of strangers in the house. So what you been up to? I haven't seen you in the movies lately. So, are you planning on staying in this area long? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Pretty lady, you ask a lot of questions. So, I'm assuming that you're interested. Well, you know, as you know, I'm an actor. But I really don't like to talk about my job. I want to know a little bit about you. What made you move to Ravenwood? Are you here by yourself? Do you have any family? Do you have any kids? Do you have a husband? Tell me what's going on in your world. Mr. Freeman, are you flirting with me? Because I see you just blow a kiss at me. Now, 
So what if I'm the little one back, then what? Don't do about it. You think you ready to take on a man like me? <laughs> I think the proof is in the pudding. I think you want to show me better you could tell me. Would you come on over here to this couch and have a seat? Say nothing but a word. Come on over this, to this couch. Let me show you a little something, something. How we young folks do it. I think I'm going to keep you around. I like your style. Up front, close and personal. So you think you want to come on in and shower with me? I like your style too, Mr. Freeman. Of course I do. Who wouldn't want to go into the shower with Mr. Morgan Freeman? I come on in here. I'm going to show you a thing or two. Be prepared for this ride. <laughs> You're so funny. Come on in. Dang, you young whippersnapper. You sure put it on me. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. You gonna be mine. I told you. <laughs> I got us in the bag. He's gonna be mad. Let me go on and take this test and make sure because I ain't got time to be caught up like that. Oh, goodness. Think I got one in my pocket. Oh, shit. No. No, this is not part of the plan. Oh, shit. What am I going to do? It's cold as fuck in here. What am I going to do? Oh, God. No. Oh, no, no, no. Get your head together. Get your head together, girl. Get your head together. I don't got time to be having a fit. Cannot break down in front of him. You cannot show him that side yet. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's going to be okay. You'll figure it out once you get home. You cannot let him see that side yet. Just breathe. You'll figure it out once you get home. Do not show him that side yet. You cannot bring that out yet. It's cold as hell in his house. Is he a vampire or something? Like what? Let me get up out of here. Ain't got time. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Lady T7. Here I am back with an episode of The Black Widow, the second generation. And as you can see in the intro, my girl is pregnant. Oh, and she's not happy. Oh my God. You got no swimmers on you. She is not happy at all. So she's going to have to go get an ultrasound before she can tell him the news. So, yeah, and this is episode one already. So, most likely, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. So, that way, we can do what we need to do. But, oh, my girl going to have to go to the doctor and get an ultrasound. This is crazy. I was not expected in the first episode. This don't make no sense, but whatever. 
and as you can see this is morgan freeman now i just gave him a house in this world because i was not about to do another house um renovation so he's gonna be in this house until whenever so i'm gonna have my girl eat something because she's starving so he did okay i did i guess it was just one plate he made so i'm gonna have her go ahead and make something real quick if not you know what better yet we're just gonna go home because it's already too much as it is get up and go home and leave him in his little little oh that's right i forgot she didn't get out because i do because for some reason i guess because it's just locked for him so i had to teleport her in because she was walking being nosy in the neighborhood and she came to the spooky side of the world so and it's, it's beautiful though but gonna go ahead and sit home because she's tired and hungry so i will see you guys once she gets there oh my goodness i was not expecting this for you baby she is pissed i am pissed but it is what it is but you know that's how it is when you have to be in grown so i see you guys once she gets back home she made it back <laughs> she is pissed so I did put her hunger up just a little bit so that way she don't have no problems because she was already tired and I didn't need her, you know, expiring before her time. So I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed and then I'll see you guys when she wakes up. I got to figure out what she going to do because I tell you, I was not expecting that. Oh boy, we already starting off crazy. So go ahead and lay down my dear and I'll see you guys when she wakes up okay guys we are back so she's finally woke up so i'm gonna have her to go ahead and call him to see if she can be able to tell him but most likely it's still not going to allow me to until i go ahead and get her ultrasound so we'll see but this is all conversation to tell someone to come over like come on make it snappy girl we ain't got time we need to get him over here quick in a hurry because every time you come over here y'all get together and then y'all be hunching and then some old stuff be happening we ain't got time get over here now should i tell him now or wait till he proposed to me because he's gonna propose to me because he's going to be my husband he don't think so but we gonna see because now that i'm carrying his baby oh my goodness here he comes Hey, pretty lady. I see you couldn't get enough of me. You want to go for round two? Because, yeah, I can't stop thinking about you. I smell you all over me. No matter how many times I took a shower. Yeah, I need some more of that. So, you want to let me in the house? Or you want to go on that couch you got out there? Either one is fine with me. Got a taste for you. Come on and follow me then. You know where it's good at. Come on over here. I'm gonna give you something real special tonight. <laughs> you know you want it. Come on, get it. Okay, guys, well, they are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her to take a shower because they just would not stop being nasty. But you know how the Sims is, but it is what it is. So I'm going to have her go ahead and sleep because she is tired. <laughs> and then I will see you guys once she wakes up because she's been doing a whole hell of a lot today. I mean a lot. Good night. I don't know who's worse, her or her mama, but I think she got her mama beat this time. So I don't know. She might need to get on some special medication or something because she definitely is bipolar and erratic and all of those things balled up into one. But she going to be all right. So, guys, I see you once she wakes up. Definitely got to call him back over here because I need to seal this deal because we need to get married ASAP. So, I'm going to go ahead and summon him over because if I call him, I know he going to talk about, oh, I'm sleeping. I don't want to hear that. Time is money, my money. So I'm going to call him over here and tell him, come on over here for a little bit. 
Cause I'm throw his ass on him, trust and believe me, he gonna want some of this. Cause you see, he's already putty in my hand, so he's already pretty much mine. So I'm gonna be Mrs. Freeman very soon. Here he come. Sorry, then I open up the dough. Oh, I forgot to lock the unlock the patio dough. <sighs> Girl, think, think, think. Like really, you cannot be leaving the door. Locked if you want him to come in. Like, come on. Goodness gracious. Let me open this door for this man. Pretty lady, you gonna come open this door for me? How you expect for me to come on the patio? You open the front door, but not the patio door. Come on now, I'll wait for you. You know, Big Daddy waiting for you. Come on, Big Daddy, you can come on in. You know I'll wait for you. Look at all that money, just come on in that door. All I need for him to just go ahead and propose to me. If not, then I'm gonna propose to him because I'm gonna get that bag. Because I know he got a lot of money. Because he been in the game for a long time. I'm definitely gonna get that money. Look at him just running around the damn pool for no reason. Girl, got me one. Got me some bags that's coming soon. Because I'm about to cash in this one. But really, look at him. He ain't gonna be able to last too long to with me. Hmm. Let me go into this bathroom. Look at him. He just too happy. He just don't know. Already got a bun in the oven. Hmm. I'm about to get me one of them broken bags for real. <laughs> Yes, girl, you crazy. Oh, let me stop talking to myself so he don't find out. Yeah, you know what Big Daddy want. Yeah, go on to that bathroom. I'm out here to eat this plate, and I'll be ready for you. <laughs> I'm going to whine and die. Oh, she's going to be my wife for life. She just don't know, do she? <laughs> I got plans. I'm going to put some babies up in that belly. Well, I guess I'm just gonna take what's on this porch out here. Go ahead and take this easel, but she don't need it. Cause I've been watching her. But I'm gonna get in this house though. Yeah, I got this easel. This lease should be worth about a grand, cause it looks like it's handmade. So, should be alright. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this couch. She don't need it. Cause she just look like she just got this house built. What the hell is going on here? It's always somebody on my damn porch. Like, what the hell is the problem? I just moved here and I gotta pee too. Like, yo, what's your problem? Are you still on my couch? Like, really, in my easel? Okay, so this is how you want to play these games. Okay, I'm about to do this quietly. Because my man is here. I guess you better ask about me, because I ain't that one. So, you better go about your business now. Oh, sorry. You can't. It's too late. Deuces. Smooches. Damn, now I gotta call the popo again. And my man is here. Oh, boy, y'all is getting on my nerve. Y'all is some ignorant asses. Like. Don't make no damn sense stealing from people that you didn't buy it. I bought this with my hard earned money. Like, really? <sighs> Let me clean this evidence off me once again. <sighs> Calm down, Cassie. It's going to be okay. I don't know. People just doing too much. Please let him don't come out here because I don't got time for trying to explain this to him. Like, really, I don't need him to see the side of me. Oh, Cassie, stop talking to yourself, girl. I think you need to go lay down or something. Let me go in here and use this bathroom because I tell you, oh, Jesus, they just doing too much. Whew. I think I need to go see my doctor because I need some chill pills or something. Oh, I forgot. I'm pregnant. Oh. 
Cassie, how could you forget? You're pregnant. You can't take no pills. You can't smoke no nothing. You can't do anything. Whew. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I was having way, way, way too much fun with this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments on what your thoughts was on this episode. And also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications on every time I upload. And also, when I go live. And also, don't forget to share with your family and friends as well. So your girl is about to be out. Peace.